Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, I had a video planned this time around, but I got a really nice surprise in the mail. All the way from Sheldon Quinn and GlobalShaveClub.com is the brand new Replitech. Uh, this is a replica of the Gillette Tech Razor. It's absolutely beautiful. It comes in a really snappy travel case like this. Open it up. Okay, they give you 10 Dorco blades. We'll put those aside. Comes in a really nice little pouch labeled Replitech. I'll put that aside right there. Comes with a nice polishing cloth and a certificate of authenticity. So let's set that aside and let's take a look and see what we have in here. Okay, so we have the handle. Uh, base plate and a cap and it's a replica of a Gillette Tech. It's really really neat. I mean terrific. It's it's really neat. It's stainless steel and it's chrome plated and it comes in three different styles. This is the model 101 which is finished in gleaming chrome over stainless steel. Uh, and it's $35. Uh, he also has a 102, which is a polished brass plating uh, over uh, stainless steel, also $35, and a JFK model, known as the, uh, the 103, also known as the JFK model, which is a gold plating, 24 karat gold plating over stainless steel, and it sells for $65. So I've got the chrome plated stainless model here, and it's beautiful, and it looks... Uh, exactly like this is an original Gillette Tech right here and it looks exactly the same the handle the knurling the ball end really nice the only variation that he has on this instead of going with the American Tech head here as you can see in the original he went with a British Tech head which has a lower profile so uh, it is an absolute an absolutely beautiful replica of the Gillette Tech and we're going to shave with it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, some treat razor blades. I'm going to use a treat razor blade in there. I'm going to kick it off with the Art of Shaving, the Art of Shaving pre-shave oil. I'm going to use the Art of Shaving sandalwood shaving soap. I'm going to use my Razor Rock chrome brush to um, build a lather. I'm going to finish it off with an Allen Block, Osma Allen Block some uh, Pinot Clubman Bay Rum, and a little bit of Lubriderm. So let me get this out of the way here, and let's wet the face, and let's get to uh, shaving with this beautiful new razor. There we go. Really nice blade alignment. Beautiful blade alignment. Beautiful blade balance. Right on the money. Really nice. Nice heft. Nice weight. Not too light. Not overly heavy. Really just feels terrific in the hand. The knurling is really very nice and tight. Love the ball end on the bottom here. Um, just feels really nice in the hand. So we're going to shave with it. Got a nice treat blade in there. Gonna run it on some hot water. Just to bring it up the temperature, swirl in the sink a little bit. All right, 
Here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Now, Sheldon says that this is a, on the scale of one to five, this is, as far as aggression, on the scale of one to five, this is 2.5. And he's right. Nice mild razor. You can vary that aggression a little bit depending on the blade you put in. A little bit, a little bit. These treat blades are nice, they're smooth, I would say they're a little more on the mild side. But not overly so. Real nice, real nice pairing with this uh, razor. Real smooth, real nice, nice mild. Let's see how efficient it is after this first rinse. <laughs> wow, that's a nice, efficient first pass. Really, really very nice. Wow. I mean, that's, that's nice. That's a, ni a nice, mild razor. Gives you a nice, efficient shave. Well, that's the first pass. The second pass is usually the money pass for me. And... I'm only expecting two passes with this razor, really. Third pass would be fun, but I think after two, I'll probably be done. I know it's a little blemish over here, so that should glide right across it. That razor should glide right across it. Should not be a problem at all. In other words, it won't snag it. With this uh, shaving soap and the oil, shaving soap is wonderful. This is new old stock uh, sandalwood from The Art of Shaving. It has tallow in it. Their new formula does not have tallow. This is their original formula. And I bought it on eBay, a great price. I got three pucks for the same price of one uh, that you would get in an art shaving store or online from Amazon. So I was real happy. Yeah, three buck, three pucks for 30 bucks, 10 bucks each. And it's the original formula, uh, tallow based. And I, I tend to, uh, I mean, I use a lot of non-tallow soaps, but I, uh, I do like uh, tallow in a lot of my shaving soaps. So it's nice. It's very nice. It's got a terrific sandalwood scent as does the new formulation the scent is identical so uh check it out they're both very very good uh, whether you get something with tallow or without their new formula doesn't have tallow i've used that one too really nice all right so here we're gonna go uh second pass number two we're gonna go with pass number two east to west across the grain I'm just going to get a little bit here for my chin, be sure I got that. Yeah, I need to get that a little more. Synthetic brushes are great with hard soaps. They make so much lather. It's incredible. They're like lathering machines with hard soaps.
Nice. Yeah, got it. Very, very nice. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Oh yeah, I'm done. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I skipped over this blemish here too, which was nice. Really, that was terrific. I mean, that is just, that's awesome. That really is. It's a nice, smooth, mild shave, yet it gives you a really nice degree of efficiency. Um, that's remarkable. That really is very, very nice. Feels nice in the hand. Um, really, uh, yes, a shorter handle, but boy, that just feels so nice in the hand, like a real Gillette Tech. All right, so I'm going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here we go. This is the warm rinse right here. All right, we're going to switch to cold from the tap and do my final cold rinse. Boy, I love this part of the shave. It just livens up the skin, wakes everything up, closes your pores. It's great. All right, cold water rinse. Very, very nice. Got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me here. This was great. What a great shave. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow. That was terrific. <laughs> That's, that was a really nice shave. Smooth, mild, yet really efficient. Well, hey, the Osma Allen Block will tell the tale. We're going to let this under some cold water and see what it has to say here. Smooth as ice. No stinging at all. Maybe, maybe a little zing here and there, but nothing really to be concerned with. Just a really nice, smooth application of the Osma Allen Block. I'm gonna dry it off here like this, and then uh, set it back in my dish, as I always do, and uh, set it aside for tomorrow morning shave. Let it air dry a little bit. I'm gonna let this set up a little bit. I'm gonna do a little cleanup. We're going to talk about this uh, razor a little bit more, the uh, Replitech from uh, Global Shave Clubs uh, International and Sheldon Quinn. So uh, hang in there, I'll be right back. You know, again, I say it all the time, I love these synthetic brushes. And look how nicely this one cleaned up. Just rinse it off in water, give it a couple of vigorous shakes. And look, it's nearly dry. Uh, it's just a terrific, it's a terrific brush. Razor Rock Chrome Brush. Uh, if you're interested, I'll have a link below. Really very, very nice. Uh, okay, let's finish it off with some Clubman Bay Rum. Boy, love this stuff. Uh, based on the shave I had, it'll be nice and warm. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. That's nice. Just has a has a, a nice kind of a nice, nice, warm, replenishing kind of a feel. No stinging, no irritation, nothing like that. It does have alcohol in it, but because I had such a nice mild shave, um, you're not feeling any of that, uh, that stinging or irrit irritation. The Allen Block, which was the step before that, uh, helps to make sure you don't have a lot of that either, but still, I didn't have any of that with the Allen Block. Um, okay, so a little bit of Lubriderm here for uh, up above. Just a little bit here like this. I like that pump action of this. I really do. I think it's terrific. I just put it on my counter and I, I just want a little bit for upstairs or the face after a shave. You just hit that and uh, you got it. And it's nice. Really, really neat. Great shave. <laughs> wow. That was really terrific. Wow. What a, what a surprisingly beautiful, nice razor. Uh, I, I love the fact that he went with the British tech head here uh, because it is a lower profile than even the classic uh, Gillette tech, the American Gillette tech, if you will. Um, it really is very maneuverable, gets in tight areas underneath the nostrils, underneath the nose, the upper lip. Um, really terrific. You pair this up with a good 
razor blade like treat. Uh, I prefer coated blades uh, because they're smoother with a mild razor like this and the efficiency that it has, a good coated blade. Um, Dorkel Prime, Treat, Persona Blue, Astra, uh, Derby Premium, uh, even the regular Derbies, those are all uh, coated with the polymer, a tungsten, a chromium, whatever kind of coating they have on it, but that really helps to smooth out the shave. And in a razor like this, uh, its mild quality gives you a really nice result. Very, very mild. Um, I would say the 2.5 rating uh, for aggression is correct. I would suspect that if you put a sharper blade in here, say like a feather or something like that along those lines, you're going to up that aggression a little bit. But um, really, uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't see any need for that. This is a nice, mild, yet very efficient razor. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I like too. I've used a lot of mild razors where the efficiency is okay. You get a nice mild shave, but the efficiency just, you know, you have to really hone your technique a little bit to really bring the efficiency of the razor out. With this one, not so. You just start shaving and you get a good efficient shave. Look, uh, no cuts, no nicks, no irritation. Uh, terrific. And I did have this little blemish up here uh, and it just skipped right over, skipped right over, didn't, didn't pull it, didn't tug it, nothing like that. So that's um, something else that I was really happy about, uh, you know, no blood on camera. But this was a terrific shave with this razor, really, really nice, the Replitech from uh, Global Shave Club. Um, it's actually www.globalshave.club, Global Shave Clubs International, so globalshave.club. Club, if I said .com, I apologize. But the Tribute Series, the Replitech Safety Razor, comes in three different styles. Uh, these come out of India. Uh, they're very well made. The, as I say, they're stainless razors with three different plating choices, and it looks, uh, the handle is just spot on from the original. Just absolutely beautiful. And uh, it's stainless, so. Uh, that's great too, so it's going to last a lifetime if it's stainless. That's terrific. And, and they did really do a, did a beautiful plating job on that. And the knurling is great. It feels really good in the hand. Uh, can't say enough good things about it. Really like this razor a lot. Um, and you know, the size and with the case, this is perfect for travel. Just put this in your adopt kit and you're ready to go. Just put it in there with some blades. And uh, you're, you know, you're off to the races for the weekend. All right. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Do you have a Gillette Tech in your collection? Uh, are you considering this? Uh, do you have a British Gillette Tech with this? slim profile razor head let me know uh, please visit my blog georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip george other cartoons other videos like this and i'll see you again real soon